brief history of Calico Ghost Town. Walter Knott was an American farmer who created Knott's Berry Farm Amusement Park in California. In 1951, he inherited his uncle's silver mill and land near Calico. We've got the ghost horse in a passenger little coach with the ghost guy and the ghost dog in front and a coffin in back. Happy Halloween! Hi guys, I'm here in Yermo, California and I'm at Calico Ghost Town and it's a really neat tourist attraction and there's barely anybody here because we're here during the week and I think you can see behind me on the a mountain it says Calico and this used to be a mining town in the um, late 1800s. So I'll show you more pics later. Bye! Because of his interest in American pioneer history, Knott ended up restoring the real silver mining ghost town of Calico, California. This happened during World War I, and he even helped to build a silver mill there. All right, you guys are going to see my favorite building in all of Calico. It is the Calico House Restaurant. But because we're in pandemic, during the week it's closed. And on the weekends they'll open up. But my favorite part is that porch and all of those rocking chairs and it overlooks the entrance to the town. And over here, because it's uh, owned by Knott's Berry Farm in the back, you're gonna see that there's normal restrooms for men and women, which is a nice convenience. So, and here's some Nightmare Before Christmas decorations, and over here is a calico leather shop. I bought a bracelet here this year. In 1966, Walter Knott donated his property to the county of San Bernardino, which then made it the town of Calico, California, into a public historic park. If you're looking for the real life Western ghost town experience, this is it. Okay guys, this is me at Calico Ghost Town and this is the beautiful turquoise and my husband said a stainless steel necklace I got, but it is not stainless steel. Yeah. <laughs> it's sterling silver and inlaid turquoise squash blossom necklace and I just got it. Actually, he got it for me. Thank you, cute husband. And um, we're at Calico Ghost Town and you can see in the background, um, I'll do another video so you can see better, but uh, this is us and we're just having a nice weekend getaway during the pandemic because um, pretty much camping is what you can do now to be safe and stay safe. Uh, so I'll be back. Walking around the side of the schoolhouse, I got cowboy boots on, so uh, the walking is a little bit bumpy. And um, you all are gonna see one of these guys, the outhouse. And then over here is the red rocks that they mined silver from. And going around, you'll see off into the distance, the other beautiful mountains. And coming full circle is the Calico town. This schoolhouse is a replica that was built in the 1950s of the actual Calico Ghost Town schoolhouse that I just showed you in the picture right before this. This is a video inside the old schoolhouse. You can see all of the old timey desks. And um, I'm going to show you from the front uh, a better view inside the window and of the schoolhouse. Here we are guys, overlooking the main drag of Calico Ghost Town. Let me take off my mask. And uh, right behind me, you can see um, that, you know, if you walk down there, there's shops on either side of the street. And uh, a lot of the shops are closed up during the week because of COVID. And then they open up on the weekends when there's a little bit more tourists. Um, a lot of tourist buses come through here, but not so much now that we're in COVID. And um, yeah, I'll give you more details in a minute. is coming up over at an uh, overlook point that overlooks all Calico Ghost Town. And you can see the valley over there. This is the whole view off of the overlook Calico Ghost Town. And then you can see over here was where the schoolhouse was. See it? And then up on the mountain is the name of the town, Calico. Those are like little outbuildings for the workers and the people maintaining it. And, um, yeah. 
Okay, you guys, um, you gotta see this thing. It's pretty creepy. It is like a little um, vaudeville sort of antique miner, and you put a quarter in. Go ahead and put the quarter in, and you're gonna see him dance. Let's check him out. Give me a minute. Okay, push the button a little bit, Ryder. And here he is. And you guys gotta check it out. Look at the beetle on his chest. Look at his crazy fingers. And a sp spider and a snake. And I can't believe how real he looks. It looks like something Rob Zombie would own. Wow. I like him a lot. And he was only 25 cents. One of the fun decorations they have on like a stagecoach. And they even decorated the horse. They decorate the horse too. In 1881, four prospectors were leaving Grapevine Station, which is present-day Barstow, California, for a mountain peak to the northeast. Describing the peak as calico-colored, the peak, the mountain range to which it belonged, and the town that followed were all called calico. The four prospectors discovered silver in the mountain and opened the Silver King Mine, which was California's largest silver producer in the mid-1880s overlooking the little ghost town cemetery with actual people here laid to rest and we're being really respectful at its height of silver production during 1883 and 1885 calico had over 500 mines and a population of 1200 people here's the cabin we are camping at this weekend let me go in and show you we brought our pumpkin from san diego this is lucky number eight and the cabins go for around 70 a night. And it's definitely cabin camping. It's pretty sparse, but it's gonna be fun. We brought our own linens and there's a fan and it does get hot, really hot in the day. So there's AC and it gets really cold at nights so and there's a heater. There's a little table, fire extinguisher and fire alarm and a coat rack. And the funny thing is there is one outlet right there. So yeah, we're gonna have fun. We are gonna roast some s'mores, cook some hot dogs and hamburgers and have a great time. So that's us. In 1890, the Silver Purchase Act was enacted and drove down the price of silver. By 1896, its value had decreased so much that Calico's silver mines were no longer economically viable. By the turn of the century, Calico was all but a ghost town. So that's it, you guys. That's our tour of Calico Ghost Town. I will uh, put some more information down below in the description. And thanks so much for watching my Ghost Town, Calico Ghost Town video. And I will catch you on the next one. Sun's right in my eyes, but we had an awesome time. And you can see my beautiful necklace that my husband bought. So go check out that turquoise rock shop when you can.